What's going on guys, it's Mariana with Tiger Supplies and we're here today to discuss the Mobile Mapper series, the 50, the 60 and the SP20. So uh, ultimately you're going to make your decision what is best for you uh, on a couple differences between the three of them. For example, the 50 and the 60, the difference between the two of them is that the 50 you have to pick and choose Wi-Fi or 4G LTE connection while the 60 that is built in for you. Now, the 50 and the 60, you are within a two and a half uh, feet of accuracy. So what that means is whatever point you take, you have a diameter of two and a half feet from that point. Uh, the SP20, on the other hand, you have four types of accuracy. You have uh, submeter, meter, decimeter, or centimeter. Centimeter being the most accurate. All three devices have the ability for you to connect a GNSS receiver to it. Uh, the SP20 is going to be the one that's going to give you the most precise accuracy once you're connecting the, that receiver to it. But keeping in mind that the three of them share the same software capabilities to it. So if you think about it, the software you have the Mobile Mapper Feud or the Survey Mobile. The Mobile Mapper Feud is going to be for people who are doing more of rural work. Work where you don't need to really uh, label your points. You, have, you can use work that, for example, if you're labeling a tree or if you're labeling a hydrant. Uh, you don't have to code tree or hydrant, but you know that point one is tree, point two is hydrant, so on and so forth. Now, the survey mobile serves almost as a data collector. And to me, that is brilliant because you have the ability to do topo work eventually, if you think about it. You can um, actually code bottom curb, you know, top curb, bottom curb, you can code uh, catch base and so on and so forth. So that is more detailed for you in there. And you can also choose uh, the specifications of your, uh, you know, depending on your work. So to give you real life uh, examples, um, I would say that the mobile mapper field is for people who don't need too much detail into their work. And the server mobile is for people who do need a lot of detail. All the three devices within the survey mobile, you can connect to a GNSS receiver or a total station or the device itself. So if you're the type of, of worker who wants a GNSS solution but doesn't want to spend the whole $30,000, these devices might be a good way for you to go.